to another episode of Bizjet TV. Fabrizio Poli here and today we're talking to Stefan from Velaxis Aviation. She's a charter company based here in the UK. We're standing in front of one of their Hawker 750s. Tell us about this aeroplane, Stefan. What well, it can do for the people that we're watching right now that maybe are thinking of buying a private jet or chartering a private jet. Well, first things first, uh, welcome to Velaxis. This is our Hawker 750, as Fabrizio said. Um, we've got eight seats inside. It's a mid-size mid -size jet. Uh, does a range of about 2,000, 2,500 miles. Uh, we can go down to Beirut, Larnaca. Uh, our main USPs with flying private. Uh, you've, got a, you've got your own cabin away from uh, other travelers in the uh, main terminals. Um, and yeah, very nice way to travel. Best way to travel, if you ask me. Um, and just, yeah, a fantastic jet. Okay, super. Now we're going to wander inside and have a look and show you what the cabin looks like, what the cockpit looks like. The Hawk is an aeroplane that was built in the 1960s and they just continue to upgrade, upgrade, upgrade and make newer versions and newer versions. This one um, doesn't have the winglets, but you can fit winglets on it. As you can see from the tip of the aircraft, it doesn't have the winglets, but you can buy one and have the winglets put on it, which is what some people are doing. To give you a bit more range um, and a bit more speed and also it reduces the fuel consumption as well, which is a handy thing to have. So now we're going to wander inside the, and have a look at the cabin and talk to the flight attendant who's going to show us around. Let's go. Okay, Annabelle, so Hi. tell us about the cabin of, on this aeroplane. Okay, so we've got eight seats on the aircraft. Um, very comfortable, club four uh, with a sofa at the back. Um, yeah, we can uh, travel, we travel mostly around Europe, um, sometimes a little bit further afield, um, but it's very comfortable. Always a flight attendant on the flight to look after and uh, provide an amazing service. Um, is it, does this have a bathroom? Because that's a question everybody Absolutely. asked. Absolutely. Does it have a toilet? This is a question because it's, it's a bit of a small aeroplane. Okay, so there's a small toilet at the back. No shower for those of you who want to take Probably a shower. Not. Yeah, it's not big enough for a shower. You can't access the baggage compartment from the cabin. No. So that's a bit of a downer. But, you know, this is a great aeroplane for short hops. For two or three people. I mean, how, how many people do you usually have on a flight, um, Annabelle? It varies actually. Well, as I say, it can be eight people, and we yeah. do have that sometimes. Uh -huh. But um, four is comfortable, I'd yeah. say. Okay. Um, but it's a little bit more luxurious than some of the smaller aircraft that yeah. um, are. You can't stand up. Um, yeah. You don't have a yeah, I mean, I can just about, but exactly. I'm, not, I'm not very tall, but I mean. I'm actually perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, and also, you can do a proper cabin service, whereas on uh, some of the small aircraft, you, you don't have a galley, you don't have a flight attendant, so you don't have that extra. Um, yeah, which is really useful because otherwise you have to get up, get your own yeah, drinks and food it's, and everything. It's not quite yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, and if you have guests, it looks good if Absolutely. you've got. Yeah. Okay, so here's the flight deck, as you can see. It's got a modern flight deck which helps the pilots fly the plane in more of an easier fashion. 